as humans, we are meant to be outside and, and enjoy nature and what it has to offer. And so much of life is now behind screens. And my bike really allows me to, to get out and explore the world. And that's what I love to do. I'm 25 years old from Kashmir, Washington, and I'm an off-road endurance privateer. Yeah, I spent four years racing on the giant factory off-road team. I was completely focused on cross-country Olympic mountain bike events. I did a year following the World Cup circuit exclusively, and I was just chasing UCI points. and and racing in, in small circles on really rugged terrain. There's been this shift in uh, American cycling with these mass participation events, and we now have this platform in the form of the Lifetime Grand Prix. I've been able to really shift my focus to, to race these longer events, and it's, it's given me an opportunity to really it, embrace this, this new excitement in American cycling. It's taken me two years to, to really adjust to this new discipline. Racing for an hour and a half is certainly different than racing for 10 plus hours at Unbound. And I had, I've had a lot of struggles in you know, the final few hours of these races. Hours has been plural. It's a totally different game. It's, it's a totally different discipline. and it's, it's been a big adjustment. I've been really tuning my diesel engine these days. I've been riding a lot longer hours, a lot farther distances, and just a lot more time on my bike. I think that these races are more races of attrition and who can keep going the, the longest and the farthest. And it's really been enjoyable for me. I've been able to explore more and ride more and, and learn from all the mistakes that I made last year. Civilian and I have been together now for almost six years. We met racing cross-country bikes, and yeah, she's still racing at the highest level. She's a great support oh pillar in my life. Yeah, she like she kind of is my rock. We get to train and travel a lot together, and the van's a really nice place for us to share. Civilian and I are pretty big foodies. We love to cook in the van. Yeah, anything with lots of carbs that we yeah, can cook in one pot that tastes good. Yeah, we were just in the first little part. Our calendar has us uh, on the road so much. When you have 300 days on the road, it's nice to have a setup that feels like home. I, I try to strategically plan out the season. I feel like my, my calendar or my, my life is on a spreadsheet. I try to limit the amount of miles in the vans, but the van kind of makes a tour around the country strategically for all my different stops. In sport, it's much more common to, to have lows and bad days than the good days. And so we really try to celebrate the good days that we both get to have and, and keep focused on those and, and keep our heads down. And, and that's how we can keep moving forward and encouraging each other. I grew up hunting and fishing and, and being in the outdoors, being in the mountains and riding my bikes certainly been part of that. I've been given really strong values in, in being outside from a very young age and it's really influenced my lifestyle today. Spending almost all day every day on my bike and traveling around in my van. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just see there's such an advantage of just having a clear track. Yeah. Because if you're if you're behind just a few riders and you're not seeing those ruts and 
yeah. not not taking the line that you really want. Yeah. But I, I would feel a little nervous if I was farther back than like sixth wheel. Yeah. I think. so hard the pace just never let up from the start we were we were going so hard it started like a like a cross-country world cup and then i felt like we just held that um, i was kind of dangling off the lead group for the the second lap um there's like there's four of us and i couldn't quite follow the attacks the accelerations but i was riding really good speed on all the single track and could kind of bring them back like my setup was dialed and um, I just was really trying to race my own race and, and stay in, in my zone and focused on the lines that I needed to take ahead and um, that was what got me to the finish line the quickest and yeah I'm really proud of that one. It was, it was a good day, hard day in the office but uh, yeah good, good way to start the year. Way to go. Looking back just even a year ago, I, I've made some, some major improvements. So, um, of course, I always wanted, wanted to do a little bit better, but, um, but I'm, I'm really proud of it. And uh, yeah, really proud of, of uh, all the work that I've done throughout the, the off season. And it's nice to, to be rewarded with a good result. I've been training really hard, the goal of winning the overall series in mind. That's really what I'm, I'm driven and, and motivated to do this year. So I'm making all the decisions and choices that I can do to try to get me there.